The U.S.-Iran relationship matters perhaps as much as ever, and much of it rests on a new president in Iran. So, who is Hassan Rouhani, and what does he think about the U.S.? Well, guess what? We have answers for you. The new president sat down in an exclusive interview with our Christian Amanpour. And, Christian, great to have you here. He does deliver a message for Americans, right? He does. You know, he came here with a blitz of tweets, with a blitz of social media reach out, with all sorts of speeches, how this was the moment to do something different, to chart a new course, to try to negotiate the nuclear issue, which is the big issue, and that he wanted to have a new relationship with the United States if all this was possible. So I asked him, can he say something to the American people? And he did. I would like to say to American people, I bring peace and friendship from Iranians to Americans. So he started by telling me that he hadn't spoken English for many, many years, so that was obviously an effort, but he wanted to make that effort. And beyond that, though, beyond the smiles, beyond the style, I asked him about the substance. And I also said, listen, are you not aware of the irony of you tweeting and people in Iran are blocked from social media? And he said, I want to uh, deliver on one of my campaign promises, which is to stop censorship, to ease censorship. So he said he was going to try and do that. But beyond that, 35 years of enmity and adverse relations between the U.S. and Iran, the big issue right now is obviously the nuclear issue. He has uh, put his foreign minister in charge of the negotiations, an American-educated, long-time American diplomat, Iranian diplomat here in America, well-known to American officials, Javad Zarif. President uh, Obama yesterday announced that John Kerry, Secretary of State, was going to head. So mm. they are going to be meeting to talk about the nuclear issue. He said he understood Iran has to build up confidence. He understood he has to give transparency. And the one thing on that issue that he told me, he was willing, he said, perhaps it could be put on the table, this heavy water reactor at Iraq. Now, this is something that could perhaps uh, separate plutonium. It's another way if they were going to try to build a weapon. He says they're not going to do that, but he said that that's possible something that could go on the table, whether that uh, plant goes online or not. So give us the benefit of your insight both into this man and in men in the past that you have known in Iran's leadership. Mm -hmm. Is the new boss the same as the old boss? Well, not the same as the old boss who just preceded him, Ahmadinejad. Uh, he is much, much different. He's not a hardliner now. He's a reformist. He's a moderate, this new one. And he's made a lot of promises. He also, I asked him specifically about the things that Ahmadinejad said, which really mm -hmm. angered the world, angered Israel, angered Israel's friends. And even President Obama mentioned it in his speech yesterday, uh, the Holocaust denial of mm -hmm. Ahmadinejad, uh, the threatening to wipe Israel off the face of the map. I directly asked uh, President Rouhani this. And he condemned uh, the Holocaust, saying that it was reprehensible and condemnable crimes that the Nazis committed against Jews. And uh, he wanted to go a long way to putting that to rest. So we'll see whether what people make of what he said. But he's certainly been you know, tweeting what he said to me. And uh, he also said that it is not the policy of Iran to attack Israel. So that, I think he was very keen on getting that message out. He brought the only Jewish member of the Iranian parliament with him uh, in this delegation. Uh, and he also, you know, talked about all sorts of issues like, like even direct negotiations with the U.S. I think for me what's different from the previous reform Khatami. president, Khatami, is that he did not have a mandate from the supreme leader to, to negotiate, to get you know, try to resolve the outstanding issues between the United States. And even Rouhani, you saw he didn't meet President Obama mm -hmm. in the end yesterday. By the way, there was never going to be a meeting, a formal negotiation. There might have been a handshake or a few words exchanged. It didn't happen. Obviously, that speaks to some tension still in Iran. But I asked him point blank, do you have the authority to negotiate and to talk about bilateral issues with the United States? Does your government have that authority from the man who holds all the cards in Iran, the Supreme Leader? He said yes, but he also said this is a window that's very short and his aides and his ministers say, you know, if he goes back empty-handed, 
this window is going to be shot right, by the Iranians. All right, so just let's finish here on what has to happen in the window from his perspective then, right? Because the criticism is this is a charm offensive. So in terms of actions that make it not just style but substance, what does he believe needs to happen in the window for there to be progress in the relationship? Well, I think that has to be a, a two-way negotiation. I mean, he has basically said, and he said it to me, but he said it publicly, that this is not about Iran capitulating. Yes, there are sanctions. Yes, we want to get rid of the sanctions. Um, yes, you have problems with our nuclear program. We we need to build back confidence. We need to show transparency. But we also need our rights under the international framework. So we want to be able to be recognized as having the right to enrich. But we want to be able to have that transparent. And, uh, and obviously, we want sanctions relief. That is going to be uh, the issue. And whether the US is going to be able to do that or not is, is very, very uh, open to question right now. Very important conversation with a very powerful man, important to American interests. And you've got the exclusive. Thank you very much for bringing us to us, Christian. Thank you.